What's going on, everybody? We're back at another scammer out there. Um, there is some kind of good news at the end of this all, which will really probably surprise some of you that haven't already heard about this. I do not have the videos of the breaks, but there's a lot of the pictures from it on the forum that I'm about to show. So I believe this dude has been a breaker since late 2020, so about a year and a half, I would say, roughly. Um, it's a father and son duo. They call themselves Yo Bro, Leo and Dad. And, wow, when this thing just surfaced, uh, I believe it was yesterday, maybe even a little bit later, but uh, or earlier, uh, a lot of people point fun at the guy for wearing sunglasses inside, but let's get to the whole thing here. I'm just trying to find where I have it saved at here to pull it up. There we go. All right. So this is on blog forum. So the guy that actually found this, he's a player collector. I guess you could say super collector too. Um, and he was been looking for some of the numbered hits out of the Leaf Pro Set uh, Power Football. So he's trying to see hey, the numbered cards been pulled. Can he start looking on eBay, you know, and stuff like that there. And I'll tell you, you know, I do the same thing with a lot of stuff as well. And I save stuff on eBay. So I kind of get where this is all, you know, he finds it. And it's like, wow, this is crazy. So basically, you look at the story here. He starts watching the break, and then he understands how Leaf Products is. It's usually the last card is like your hit of the box type deal. And after watching a few boxes, I believe it was three, um, there's no hit. No big name players, nothing. So he became suspicious, went back, looked at it, and he noticed that it looked like the tape on the boxes or on the uh, plastic cases been tampered with, basically cut. So a lot of people took pictures. They even noticed the case itself on the bottom, the cardboard case, was cut on the bottom and because the way it bulges down there. Believe it or not, they reached out to Brian Gray, CEO of Leaf. Kudos to him. He investigated it all, and we'll get to that here in a minute. So I'm going to show you guys some of the pictures. I'll put the link of this at the bottom in case the pictures are not very clear. It's kind of hard to tell. So as you can see here, and there's no kid pictures in this. I made sure ahead of time. You can start seeing, like, they're trying to show that this here does not have the leaf tape over it, like scotch tape. It's clear right here. It's like where it was cut. So keep going down through. And they're showing it here to where you could tell it as well. And here you go. Brian Gray wanted his contact info. This is a tweet that went out. You guys could check. Um, I think it's under yeah, Leaf's um, regular one, not Brian Gray, Leaf CEO. But he got involved. Like I said, kudos. Kudos to Brian Gray for this. I mean, you might not like the Leaf products, but somebody this hands down onto his business, I give him credit. I mean, the guy himself buys off of people on eBay all the time. Um, when I was real big selling on eBay, I mean, I could usually count on Brian Gray buying about six to ten cards a month easily off me, especially at auctions. That's where he's really going at the stuff. All right, here. That's just more of his talk. All right. Some of this stuff I'm about to scroll over for, so bear with me. So as you guys can see here, the bottom of this box is Boeing right in here. And this is what everybody's starting to talk about to where he puts his hand in there. They're trying to keep it flat. Hence, right here. You can start seeing as they're pulling them out. Guys are doing screenshots of this. Again, look right here. You can see the tape has been broken. Look where the leaf comes up. You can see the edge right here of the cursive writing of leaf, and there's that gap there to where you see this pure acrylic plastic here. That's been tampered with. See it again right here. So they bust him out, and this just by luck. Nobody's caught this guy. You know, doing this stuff, no telling how many products he's done this with, except for somebody who's just 
doing some research trying to find out if uh, you know some of his player cards have been pulled yet or not you know makes sense i mean there's a lot of guys that track one-on-ones and everything else logo man nothing different there let me see yeah you can see it here too it's a little bit more fuzzy there boom right there cut again these are all different boxes too Real good close-up imagery there. But that first one, you could really tell, though, because the leaf thing is right up here at the end of it. And you can see where the break is. All right, let me go back into it. His eBay is up. Still got a website. <laughs> see, there goes the sunglass comments. Let's see here. All right, so they posted this. Oh, I... No, it was today. It was early on. But Brian Gray spent last night tracking down the breaker and confronting the issues at hand. He has agreed to refund everybody in the break and still send the cards out to... It should be to the customers anyway. He agreed to send Brian proof of this by Friday. I, I'm in shock by it that he got that much done onto it. But just him jumping in because it's his products, knowing somebody tampered with it, I mean, I don't see Tops doing it, Panini doing something like this, or the new Fanatics doing this, being a hands-on approach. There's very few companies that would be hands-on approach. They'd be like, hey, we sold it, it was sealed. I can't. I don't know what to tell you after that. You're going to have to get with the person doing it and everything else. And this really isn't the first time Brian Gray's really gotten into this stuff, and he takes care of it. I mean, he will chase you down. Sorry, my throat's a little bit dry. I had to get something to drink because of uh, too much talking today at work. I don't know if there's anything else. I believe the videos are now back up on YouTube. I have no idea. I didn't really go that far onto it. But you can tell here there's more. They're talking about the tape on the top of the box, too. Um... He cuts the case, but the tape shows that it was peeled off beforehand due to the cardboard sticking to the tape. Makes sense. It does. So, another one. We're right back into it. That's the first one. That means we're going to come into three. So, be prepared for about two more probably to surface here. I'm scrolling up real quick, but I just back to this. Um... It's a shame this happens. This person's been around for a while. And to me, uh, I, you know, it, you have your child or kid, however you want to say it, part of your breaks. I mean, what are you teaching them? It's just bad all the right way around with that, in my own opinion, on to it. On to why somebody's going to sit there and do this stuff to make a couple extra bucks because of the hits and everything. I'm trying to find the one picture here. I think it was down here. That's the bottom of the box. This should be it. Mm. Nope, next picture. Right there where the cut's at. But, guys, like I always say, be careful with breakers out there. There's guys that have been doing this stuff for many, many years out there. And whether you like the people themselves or, you know, you don't like them for certain reasons... You know, they've been around for a while for a reason. And I could tell you there's been multiple ones where, you know, a card got mixed up in the shipment. They still couldn't track it down because somebody got it and they didn't want to give it up. They make it right. And they go overboard on that stuff. And like I said, I don't like giving all the guys I still kind of break with occasionally here and there. But I don't usually venture out to people I don't know anymore. Um, even if I have people refer them to me, just for the fact of this stuff happening in greed, greed is big. And, you know, pulling the hits out of this stuff, them keeping it, you know. And like I said, you don't know how far back this goes because they, I don't know, I'm sure there's probably people looking at the other videos and stuff out there. But just do a lot of your own research onto it. I've always been with breaks with people have been around for a while. This guy's been around for a year and a half, but the people I've been breaking with has been doing it probably since, oh, 2012, 13, 14, maybe even 15. It's been a long time. Um, 
And those are the kind of guys that I just stick with if whenever I do get into it, just because I know there's never been an issue onto it and something happens, it happens, you know. Mistakes happen on breaks and stuff like that here. But this, this is not a mistake. This is blatant theft. And like I said, congr uh, kudos to Brian Gray stepping up and doing all this. He really didn't have to, but he did. And that's what you really need out there is a hands-on approach with that. All right, guys, link, if you guys want to see it to the Blowout Forums, is going to be in the description below. Um, other than that, guys, Overtime Friday night. See you there.